Hello everyone and now welcome to an Arc Light Rumble walkthrough playthrough guide of Black Fathom Deeps or Depths level 10. Now the reason why I'm creating different videos for level 9, level 10 is that there are actually different rewards and things that you choose at the start of every single of every single level. So I thought, well, level 9 was different than level 10 and you may want to see what level 10 has to offer. So spent a couple of hours leveling up in order to be able to beat Black Fathom um, Depths, or at least I think I can beat it now, now that my um, now that I've unlocked a couple more characteristics and traits, uh, focusing and leveling up my leveling up my Black Fathom deck in order to play well. I know it looks a look, little bit gr gritty and grainy on the stream here, but I guarantee you, I assure you that it is um, still very, very beautiful on my phone. Go ahead and get things started here. Lower the volume there a little. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna open things up by dive bombing that spot right there. Okay, there you go. Now let's go ahead and move with this guy here. Oh, those guys are gonna come over there. All right, so if you guys... Oh, dang it, I did not want that on the bridge. I did not want that on the bridge. That was not where I wanted it. Okay, that's not what I wanted at all. And my now may actually have a bit of problems trying to beat this level. All right, well, let's, throw down. let's see how all of this goes. All right, making our way through. Luckily, the way I have things, the way things are designed, I should be able to get through this level so pretty quickly there. Oh, yeah, good. The things actually hatched. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put that guy there to start mining a bit more. And then I am going to hit right there. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put a guy here. And then I'll put a guy right back right behind him. Oh right. so far it looks like this is this is gonna be a pretty easy easy run overall. Not running into any problems whatsoever. Alright, let's go ahead and just make sure I take that spot back. Alright, yeah. Overall, very, very easy run. I'm actually kind of over-leveled on this particular run here. Um, yes, I have a level 10 Dark Iron Miner, and I think this is the level 10 run. But, well, I had to do a lot of leveling up in order to be able to beat the next couple of stages, so... Did I choose the wrong deck? I might have. All right, I need to check if I have the gargoyle. I had specifically leveled up the gargoyle for the second stage. Is the gargoyle included? Okay, do it. Good. I do have the gargoyle here, and I do. I should have the. Okay, so what do I choose next? On death, your binnies grant bloodlust to nearby allies. There's no poison, and I'm not deploying beast minis, so. Um, let's go ahead and go do Howling Warbound, Warband as my reward. And now I'm going after Baron Aquanus, who is, well, poisoning the waters. And there's pools of poison across the map. Hence, um, well, fortifying and making flying units and, and giving them a real, real purpose. So let's go ahead and hit start here. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Where are okay, uh, we? All right, so... Okay, so I want to put this guy here. I want to put that guy there. And then they're going to go ahead aggro that hatchling group. And I'm going to be able to make a pretty, pretty strong run there. All right, so I'm going to put that guy there, the stone gargoyle. And then behind it, uh, throw down a dragon as well. Oh. Okay, so am I going to... Take out that. Ah. Okay, so that should be some crazy easy. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. This is just. Okay, I attempted this video to be a good indication of what. Ah, I put it in the wrong spot there. Um, of what it looks like, but apparently I over leveled my characters so. 
if you're having trouble with this particular stage know that it's it's know that it, it is actually fairly difficult um my deck is just completely over leveled right now and that's why i can handle this the way it is all right let's go ahead and put some flying units there let's put an orc miner there let's put some guys there and i should be able to take down this situation pretty easily okay all right. All right. So I'm going to take that. No problem. Do I want to... Yep. I'll mine there. All right. Okay. I need to mine off over there. Nothing's happening back at home. All right. Pool of blood there. Okay, now. Yep. All right, this should be an easy run. All right. Maybe I'll put in the level level eleven attempt in this video as well. Not very much, not very dramatic. I'm just overrunning this quest because my my deck is that much more leveled. Uh, a couple of eagle-eyed viewers will notice that I unlocked a couple of additional talents. The dragon whelps summons an additional egg, and when one egg hatches, all of the eggs hatch, uh, thereby increasing that burst damage. Following up with that, um, my drake also randomly lays eggs as well. The first four minis you play cost three less gold, but no less than one. Tank minis cost... All right. I don't have any spells, so unstable gold coil would be the better one to do here. All right, let's go ahead and dive right on in. So place down expensive minis at the very beginning. And then, um, well, yep, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. All right, go ahead and start. So let's go ahead. This guy can go there. There. This guy. This guy can go there. This guy can go there. And this guy can go there. Okay, this, this guy goes there. Oh, well, look at that. Look at that. Bloodlusting, raging. Okay, that guy goes there. All right. So on this particular stage, you need to, um, you need to unlock, um, you need to unlock multiple, or you need to take down all three heads at once. And then from there, oh. Oh, can I can I bombard? Yeah, good shot right there. Good. All right, so I need to throw down a red drake here. Crap. Throw some. Oh nope, I lost. Okay, throw down. Some. Come on. Eggs there. All right. So okay. Time is always. Time is always seems to be the problem here. And dang it, I don't want him to get gold. Okay, so I'm trying to take control of that spot there. Come on. Okay, there. Burn that, force that, do whatever I need to do there. Okay. Okay, so... Eggs there, so they'll aggro and they'll wake up. Okay. Oh my goodness, I, I cannot break past the front. Oh, oh dang it, I, they went the wrong way. That's not what I wanted to do. Am I gonna lose because I misclicked? Alright, I lost because I misclicked. All right. No, nope, my bad there. I was talking about how easy this everything was, and I happened to just completely fall apart at the very end. Okay, so I need to make sure that that door is pointed left, just so they don't try to go through that waterfall and instantly die before all three heads of the Hydra are removed.
All right. Well, let's do try again. Yes. Play. Warcraft Arc Light Rumble. So. Okay, did I not get... Am I not going to actually take out anyone early on? On the left or the right side? That um, kind of bites. I might be stuck in a similar situation. Okay. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to put that right there. Just so I get a little bit of additional eggs. Oh my gosh, how did they... Oh no, he's not going to wake up until... Oh good, 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 good. Okay. Okay. Oh no, don't go after my kobold. No! Oh, okay. I am messing things up a lot. I am not playing this well at all. And my opponent keeps on getting more gold because they're mining more. I need to repeat the strategy. Or lack of strategy right now. I have no ground forces. Hmm. Here I was cruising for everything at first. But I don't have that many Black Rock minis and then alternating Black Rock minis. Okay. What can I do here? I sh this should be easy. This was supposed to be easy. Okay, so I need to... Maybe I need some... other... He still got that. Okay, so that actually worked out well. Let's go ahead and get some. Can I, 
Can I actually get that before he does? I might actually be able to get that before he does and get the gold back and deny it to my opponent. Oh, wait, nope. I need the... Come on, come on, come on. Place him down, place him down, place him down. Okay. Did I get that gold there? Oh, turn, 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 turn. Good. Okay. Alright, so I need to get a gold over there. Okay. Go board over there. Okay. And then once it comes up. Okay, there. Okay, I can move to the high ground and attack there. I can use that there. Okay. 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 I think I'm actually in a decent spot now. I had totally forgotten about that other spawning location. I will put that there just to get that gold to deny it from my opponent. Okay, there, get that little bit of gold. Now I can move that forward. Now all of them are up together up front. And now let's now let's continue this battle. So I need this guy there. I need this guy up there. I need this guy up there. I want this guy here to get more gold. Okay. Seems like this is gonna be pretty pretty cake now. Okay. Get that gold. Alright. Was a little bit was a little bit tough. Made a couple of mistakes even with my overpowered deck. Um or a higher level deck than it needed to be. But able to beat level 10 Black Fathom Depths. Um hopefully you guys saw the skill tree. Um I went what every other Black Rock mini costs uh costs one less. Then I went with the Bloodlust every single time a companion falls. And then after that, I went with um, the first couple of minis you play only cost one. So, or, or cost two less. So re drastically reducing the cost and overall helping, helping out the overall curve. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And I will probably be working on my level 11 Black Fathom Depths video right now.